Welcome to our first Impress webinar, Revolutionizing the Chemical Industry for a Fossil-Free Future. My name is Stanislava Petrova, Communication Officer at Avantium, and I'll be your host today. Impress is here to impress. We're heading towards a fossil-free future with the European know-how. Impress will integrate selected key technologies to refine plant-based materials into multiple sustainable chemicals and materials that can replace fossil-based products. Related technologies will be substantially improved in order to provide a better future for both us today and the generations to come. First, let's have a look at the world today and the major trends that are driving us to combine technology and knowledge on this path to a fossil-free future. We we'll start with the growing world population, which is expected to reach 9.8 billion by 2050, according to the United Nations. Next is the middle class, which according to the Brookings Institute is booming by between 140 and 170 million people annually. Consequently, we're seeing a rapidly growing demand for materials and according to the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, it will quadruple by 2050. Furthermore, we are excessively using shale gas and oil, which is quickly exhausting the natural supply. We need a non-fossil alternative for resources and materials. Last but not least, burning fossil fuels, deforestation and farming are causing increased concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and this leads to increased global temperatures, what we know as global warming. As a result, we're witnessing a fast melting of the surface of the ice sheet. After those disturbing images and future scenarios, let's talk about how we aim to lead towards a better fossil-free future. Welcome to our webinar. This is our first webinar organized by an EU-funded IMPRESS project. It's a part of a series focusing on finding ways to produce sustainable chemicals and materials. Our project partners will lead you through the different steps and main results of the IMPRESS biorefining process in a series of four webinars in total. IMPRESS project aims to create a new hybrid biorefining process. It means researching and combining selected key technologies and using them to refine renewable resources such as forestry, and agricultural residues into multiple sustainable chemicals and materials that can replace fossil-based products. Today we'll start with Claire Harvey from Avantium who will explain how they plan to achieve a fossil-free chemical industry by 2050 with their sustainability plan called Chain Reaction 2030. Then we'll hear from the IMPRESS project lead, Baudin Hivers they know who will tell us how this novel and innovative concept could revolutionize the chemical industry. And finally, you'll learn how to become a part of the change and the future expert in biorefining from Nora Hattonen from Kramk. Hello, my name is Dr. Claire Harvey and I'm the Sustainability Manager for Avantium. At Avantium, we believe strongly that sustainability needs to be at the heart of everything that we do. To strengthen and share that belief, we published Chain Reaction 2030 in January of this year. Chain Reaction 2030 is our ambitious strategy to help transform the chemical sector with our aspirational goal of achieving a fossil-free chemical industry by 2050. We know that we don't have all the answers and that there is a limit to how much we can achieve by ourselves. In fact, we need to work with others, particularly given the interconnected and complex challenge of shifting away from fossil feedstocks across the chemical industry. We actively seek out partnerships and collaborations to ensure that we bring parties together for the greatest possible impact. Chain reaction is composed of four areas that are key to how Avantium operates and where Avantium can have the greatest impact on the social and environmental issues that matter most, both to our business and to our stakeholders. Our first pillar 
is our technologies. We look to create disruptive technologies across entire value chains. And towards the same, we have three technology targets in our plan. Our first is that by 2030, we want all of our we want our technologies to have generated 1.5 million tons of CO2 savings across the chemical industry. We plan to achieve this through the commercialization of our Ixian Ray technologies, the scale up of our electrochemistry technology, and the contribution to the chemical industry efficiency made by our high throughput testing platform, Florence. Our second target is that by 2030, we will become a circular business. One of our approaches is our aim to continue to design products that are durable and recyclable, creating the highest possible value for the longest possible time while consuming the smallest amount of materials. Our third target is that by 2030, 100% of our plant-based feedstock will come from sustainable sources. And we will be making a clear definition of what we consider to be sustainable and then working together with our suppliers to ensure that our standards are met for our feedstocks. The second pillar in our sustainability plan is our operations. We want to ensure that our own operations are safe and sustainable. And we have three operations targets to support this. By 2030, our operations will achieve net zero carbon emissions. We plan to take steps such as switching to 100% renewable electricity, as well as reviewing alternative heating systems for our buildings. We will also be conducting a baseline assessment of our scope three emissions, which are generated in our supply chains and establish a plan for reducing those. By 2025, we will send zero non-hazardous waste to incineration. Our site management is working together with our waste providers to improve recycling facilities at all of our sites. And we're already making progress on this. By 2023, all of our plants will achieve ISO 45001 certification. This is the industry gold standard for safe and healthy working environments. The third pillar of our sustainability plan is people, covering current employees, but also looking forward to the next generation. And here we also have three targets. By 2030, Avantium will be one of the 10 best companies to work for in the Netherlands. We will perform an assessment to identify strong and weak spots in our workplace, and this will help us to build a plan and measure progress as we change. Our second people target is that by 2030, we will have engaged 100,000 students about using chemistry to create a fossil free world. We believe that reaching out to young people to encourage them to become the next generation of scientists is key in the long term fight against climate change. And by 2030, we plan to be an inclusive and diverse company representative of the, of the science societies and communities around us. We aim for gender equality in leadership positions in the company as well as continuing our strong track record in diversity of nationalities within our workforce. The final pillar in our sustainability plan is our leadership. By 2030, 100% of our advocacy will focus on transforming the chemical industry to becoming circular and fossil free. We're already engaging with the industry around us, as well as governments and the public, on the challenges that the chemical industry needs to address. Together, these four pillars underpin everything that we do as a company. We want to lead by example, and we are demanding from ourselves to step up to address the climate crisis. We hope that by showing the way, we will create a chain reaction across the chemical industry to have a greater effect than any one company could have alone. Bringing true change to the chemical industry can't be done by only one company because the chemical industry is made up of complex networks of plants that all work together in order to make the chemicals that the world needs in the most efficient way. For example, 
breaking crude oil down into basic chemical building blocks involves a very complex network of chemical processes, as shown here. True transformation of the chemical industry means that these networks will need to be rebuilt and new sources of chemical building blocks will have to be investigated. In order to do that, Avantium is working closely with commercial partners, such as the Impress Project Consortium, to find a new way forward that will be based on sustainability and integration into the circular economy. We believe in a fossil-free world. Together, we can get there. Hello, it is my pleasure to explain to you what Project Impress is all about. My name is Bodine gevers dynoot Business Development Manager at Avantium and Project Leader of the Impress Project. Project Impress will demonstrate and validate a new hybrid biorefinery process for the first time. The Impress Project focuses on integrating selected key technologies allowing non-edible plant-based material from forestry residues and agricultural residues to be converted into multiple sustainable chemicals and materials. IMPRESS is a four-year subsidy project funded by the European Union and led by Avantium. It involves an outstanding consortium of 10 leading companies as well as research, development and educational organizations. The main objective of the IMPRESS project is to develop and upscale separation and purification methods with the aim to convert non-edible plant-based materials into products with a reduced carbon footprint. Its objective is to enhance the business potential of both existing and future biorefineries and other bioeconomy companies, as well as creating economic benefits and new jobs in their value chains. Impress is a novel biorefinery concept based on the efficient integration of proven purification and separation technologies, such as crystallization, membrane filtration, simulated moving bed chromatography, and adsorption. The key conversion processes included in the project are the Dawn technology, Ray technology, and xylitol fermentation technology. The Dawn technology allows forestry and agricultural residues to be converted into industrial sugars and lignin. The industrial sugars can subsequently be used by the Ray technology for the production of plant MEG and plant MPG. Plant MEG is a key component in the production of plastics to replace fossil resources. Plant MPG can be used for the production of functional fluids, unsaturated polyester resins, as well as food, feed and pharma applications. The concept will be thoroughly evaluated from a techno-economic and environmental perspective. This will be done by means of a life cycle assessment and the completion of conceptual process designs in order to demonstrate the positive impact on circular economy. The generated know-how will also be distribu distributed to future experts and employees through a lifelong learning e-platform. As mentioned before, the consortium consists of 10 partners Let's hear from each partner how and which role they fulfill in the project. I'll kick off with Avantium. Avantium is the coordinator of the project and aims to accelerate its Dawn and Ray technology, in addition to utilizing its expertise in catalysis. My name is Hank Fleming, and I'm CTO at Process Design Center. Throughout PDC's 34 year history, we've remained focused on introducing new and more efficient technologies in the process industry. Nowadays, more than 50% of our turnover 
comes from bio-based and circular projects where we collaborate with partners and clients in a dynamic journey to arrive at better solutions. In the IMPRESS project, PDC leads the conceptual process design, technology integration and techno-economic assessment using our unique tool PROSIN, which is the largest knowledge-based system in the world of artificial intelligence in the process industry. Ability and LCA software and consulting, delivering relevant insights on environmental performance within the IMPRESS project. Sulza is a global leader in fluid engineering and separation technology, and we are committed to be part in the creation of sustainable biorefinery processes. We are proud to cooperate with these outstanding project partners and are dedicated to support IMPRESS with our long-time expertise in crystallization and distillation. Hello, my name is Chris Corsiadis. I have been uh, working for Lentec for the last three years as an innovation and business development engineer. Our company's role in press is to dehydrate the produced water streams. And our main activities consist of laboratory tests, choosing of the most suitable technologies and developing an on-site pilot. Thank you. Knauer manufactures high-end scientific instruments for research, routine analysis, quality assurance, and other applications. Supported technologies include liquid chromatography, precise handling and pumping of liquids up to high pressures, as well as flow-through detection of dissolved substances. Customizable products and solutions are one of our strengths. For the IMPRESS project, Knauer uses its expertise to contribute in continuous separation technologies, such as simulated moving bed chromatography. Generous develops new nanopose materials uh, such as agrophobic zeolites and moths for changing separations of short polyols. Separation and purification processes of biomass derived products are particularly challenging because many molecules have the same uh, physical properties such as very close boiling points which make them very difficult to, to separate. And when classical physical separation techniques fail, absorption by porous materials is an alternative solution. Here, we design and synthesize very specific absorbents, which pore size and surface chemistries are tailor-made for particular separation applications, such as polyol uh, purification. Hello, my name is Michael Ginter from Vogelbusch Biocommodities, an engineering company with the head offices in Vienna, Austria. Within IMPRESS, we are involved in the development of two processes to convert the hemicellulose hydrolysate stream of a biorefinery into available products by fermentation. The products are fodder yeast, an ingredient for animal feed, and xylitol, a low calorie sugar substitute. Our goal is to develop complete production processes for both products and to offer these processes as an add-on for any biorefinery. Alto University aims to develop separation processes for sugar, alcohols and sugars by means of crystallization and conversion processes for woody biomass. My name is Noora Hatanen and I am a research development and an innovation specialist at XAMC, which stands for Southeastern Finland University of Applied Sciences. XAMC has a key role in dissemination activities. The generated know-how from the project will be distributed to future experts and employees through a lifelong learning e-platform. I will introduce this in more detail in the following presentation. I hope you've gained a better understanding of what Project IMPRESS entails. You might can imagine that a lot of relevant information and new insights is being generated during the course of this project. Let's hear now how this is being exploited. Hello. Next, we shall discuss the knowledge expectations that we have set for the future experts on biorefining and a concept called lifelong learning. 
As I already introduced myself, I'm Noora Haatanen, a R&D specialist here in Southeastern Finland University of Applied Sciences. And my uh, presentation is titled, Are you a future expert on biofining? And like some of our students think, lifelong learning is not the same as constantly receding graduation day. One definition states that uh, lifelong learning summarizes all learning throughout life with the aim of improving your knowledge, skills and competencies, either personally or at work. Moreover, it should be seen as a long term investment. We live in a constantly changing world where global driving forces such as climate change and plastic pollution place enormous pressure on us in many ways. Naturally, industry and technology developers are in a key position to lower the emissions by producing more and more uh, sustainable products. Then again, as consumers, we all must be more aware of our consumption habits and their effects on the environment. All this sets ambitious knowledge-based demands for the future workers and experts in multiple positions. But how do we keep up with the new technologies and their potential? We need to share the benefits of our learnings. One way is to share the findings from development projects like IMPRESS through open online learning environments. This kind of multi-level learning environment supports individual learning paths, which are independent of time and place. And this is indeed what we have in mind for the IMPRESS project. But before we go into the details and goals of the IMPRESS learning environment, I want to shortly introduce the partner behind the educational activities. Southeastern Finland University of Applied Sciences, shortly XAMC, is an institute of higher education which focuses on technology, well-being and creative industries. We're located in the south of Finland on four campuses in Savonlinna, Mikkeli, Kotka and Kouvola. Our university offers education in three online learning environments. Learn is the main platform that we use and is used for the degree studies. Open Learn is used with open university studies and offers courses openly for anyone interested in the subject. This is the platform that we will be using in the IMPRESS project to share the know-how. And finally, the newest one, Pulse, which is a shop for short online courses. International cooperation is an important part of our profile with more than 300 partner educational institutions around the globe. Besides education, we also participate in research and development and provide services for the residents and businesses of the area. Uh, XAMC is strong in R&D activities and it is currently Finland's largest university of applied sciences in the field of R&D. I come from the Fiber Laboratory, which is one of XAMS R&D units. It is a bioproduct technology innovation center located in Savonlinna. The Fiber Laboratory conducts research and development of an international standard and educates bioproduct technology engineers. There are in total over 250 ongoing projects uh, annually in XAMC. In these projects, our uh, experts find, test and develop new products and services and conduct research for future needs. Na naturally, IMPRESS is one of them. Let's now move back to the IMPRESS project where uh, XAMC is responsible for setting up a learning environment to share the benefits uh, of the developed technologies and the benefits of the integration. 
the Impress pro in the Impress project, uh, we're building an independent online course called Future of Biofining. This course will be available after the pro project is finished uh, in 2023 uh, through Open Learn, uh, the one of uh, some uh, educational platforms. Um, the target groups vary greatly in terms of background skills, and therefore the courses are designed to include different levels according to the target group. This multi-level st structure supports individual learning paths, which is essential for lifelong learning. Next, let's have a closer look at the contents of the course. The future of biofining course will contain three separate modules. Module one is the separation and purification processes in biorefineries. This module will give the relevant background information of the main separation and purification processes that are used in the Impress concept, such as mass transfer, crystallization, adsorption, and membrane technology. The info will be given in three levels, starting from basic theory behind the phenomenon and ending up to the industrial level implementation. Module two is the process design and analysis. This module will introduce two fundamental tools for assessing the environmental and economic impact of biofining concept. These tools are life cycle analysis and uh, conceptual process design. We will apply these tools for the impress concept and share the main results in this module. Module three is the conversion technologies. This module consists of the main conversion technologies and their updates, which are Dawn, Ray, xylitol fermentation and lignin processing. As we learned from the previous presentation, there is a large group of partners and expertise in this project. All IMPRESS partners have an active role establishing this course. Our general goal is to involve professional expertise from as many fields as possible in the course development. But it's not only what you say, it's also about how you say it. We wanted to design a well-structured learning environment that supports the progress of studies. And we pay et extra attention to planning how to maintain student motivation. In presenting the theory, we will use alternatives to traditional and sometimes a bit boring presentations and long PDF files. The intention is to include various learning tools like videos and books to keep the student active. Formative tests and learning batches will also be used to motivate, motivate the student. Different gamification elements can also be applied to really visualize the progress and speed up the learning progress. We have also included different tools for monitoring the learning and competition progress. Here's a snapshot from the actual learning environment. It shows how the module one is structured and presented. The idea is that the students can proceed with the course at their own pace uh, to the level they want. They can either select pieces or follow through the whole content. The entire course is open and available for anyone to improve their skills on biorefining. It's an effective way to really learn about the fundamentals and benefits of the developed technologies, the benefits of the integration, and finally leading to the production of cost-efficient and environmentally sustainable bio-based chemicals and materials. I hope I was able to give you an overall idea of the online learning environment that we're building. If you're interested to hear more or share your thoughts with us, um, please contact us through the contact uh, details below. We're also searching for participants for a piloting group.
The idea is to open the future of biofining online learning environment for a selected piloting group during the project and to gather input uh, for finalizing the course. This gives you a unique opportunity to really dive deep into the contents and also help to further develop the um, course uh, from a user perspective. Thank you all and hope to hear from you soon. Thank you all for joining our Impress webinar. This was the first from a series of four webinars. Our next one will focus on the impressed biorefining concept and the findings from the project. After that, our partners will provide details on the selected technologies and their opportunities for biorefining. In the third webinar, Sfera will introduce life cycle assessment process and present the results of the impressed life cycle assessment concept. PVC will wrap the series by walking us through the conceptual process design using their expert system called Prozin, I hope I say this right, and sharing results from the techno-economic assessment for Impress concept. Stay up to date via the Impress website and social media channels and see you next time.